The races for Ohio governor were decided pretty early tonight. Let's get to Lena Lai. She joins us live now. Good evening to you, Lena. Good evening, Laura. It's a hubbub of activity here at the Board of Elections warehouse where precinct workers are bringing in the ballots and the memory sticks for them to be counted. There you can take a little peek at some of those memory sticks. But yeah, it did turn out to be an early evening in the race for governor. Mike DeWine jumped out to an early lead, declared the winner of the primary at 8.15, and then Nan Whaley sealing the Democratic nomination less than an hour later. DeWine fending off three Republican challengers, defeating his closest rival, former Congressman Jim Renacy by 20 points. Meanwhile, former Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley handily defeated former Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley. The winners of the primary each addressing the issue of abortion that has become front and center today. Governor Mike DeWine addressing it early in his speech tonight, while Nan Whaley came out swinging. The most vulnerable children, the most vulnerable members of our society, um, have the opportunity to grow up because this is an administration that focuses on the most vulnerable members of our society and that certainly includes the unborn. There are already bills moving from the extremists in the legislature that will ban all abortion, no exceptions whatsoever. That's our future if we give Mike DeWine another four years. Let me say it again. Mike DeWine is out of touch, corrupt, and he doesn't care about you. Now, we do want to mention that Nan Whaley's running mate, Cheryl Stevens, is a Cuyahoga County Council member and a former Cleveland Heights mayor who certainly got her hometown support. Back here live at the Board of Elections, the workers have a long night ahead of them. Still more ballots to count until the final tally. Now, we do want to emphasize that, keep in mind, Laura, that Governor DeWine is a sitting governor who barely, he didn't even get 50 percent of his party. Nevertheless, Nan Whaley has an uphill climb to go about six months away from the November election in political time. That is a lifetime, Laura. So we'll see how it shakes out. It sure is. And exactly. We will see what's next. Alina Lai, thank you.